Happy Sunday to all of you. There are many more lawmakers in states and cities that have just approved a new round of relief checks. Republicans and Democrats are finally reaching a deal on President Biden's economic agenda. This may mean a federal Ford stimulus check for all Americans this year. So friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of these details. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter these giveaways, please make sure you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card. And friends, I'll be announcing a winner in a video later today. So please stay tuned for that video. Finally, lastly, um, Senator Mitch McConnell is holding hostage the bipartisan package, a bipartisan package, the Bipartisan Innovation Act, which would make more in America and strengthen our competitive edge with China. And he's doing all, all of this. He's putting this in, in hostage, this bipartisan uh, law, to protect the big farmer's profit. It is outrageous. And here's the thing. We must do both, and we can do both. I remind, I remind you and all others that uh, when Leader Mitch McConnell himself agreed last fall that bipartisan negotiation shouldn't be paused for other priorities, saying, and I quote, Republicans have been negotiating in bipartisan good faith to meet the real infrastructure needs of our nation. The president cannot let congressional Democrats hold a bipartisan bill hostage over a separate and partisan process. Some New Mexico residents have already received their first payments. Californians can also look forward to their inflation relief checks as soon as this October. To lessen the blow of rampant inflation and guard against a growing threat of recession, an increasing number of U.S. states are sending money to residents in the form of tax rebates or inflation relief checks. One of the latest states is South Carolina where Governor Henry McMaster signed legislation to send taxpayers tax refund checks by the end of this year. The state of Massachusetts could be the next, where the state legislature there hopes to send money by the end of September. Our federal government issued three rounds of stimulus checks during the crisis. There are several U.S. states that have started or are working to approve rebate payments or inflation relief checks to taxpayers in 2022 and 2023. Governor Gavin Newsom and state lawmakers have agreed to send millions of Californians inflation relief checks as high as $1,050. The payments, which are coming out of California's $97 billion budget surplus, will go out as direct deposits or debit cards by the end of 2022. The Sacramento Bee reported that the first payments going out will be this October. Single taxpayers who earn less than $75,000 a year and couples who file jointly and earn less than $150,000 a year will receive $350 per taxpayer and another $350 if they have any dependents. A married couple with children could receive as much as $1,050. State residents of Colorado who have filed their 2021 return by June 30th will receive a check for $750 by September, while joint filers will receive $1,500. And filers who received an extension and filed by the October 17th deadline will receive their refund by January 31st, 2023. Delaware Governor John Carney signed a bill in April approving $300 stimulus checks to residents who filed their 2020 tax returns. If you file jointly, each person will receive one of the payments, which started going out in May. Also, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed a bill in March authorizing rebates to taxpayers who have filed their state returns for both 2020 and 2021. Single taxpayers can receive $250, with heads of households receiving $375, and then married couples who file jointly will receive $500. Partial year residents or individuals who owe income tax, delinquent child support, or other payments 
may receive a smaller rebate. Hawaii residents who earned under $100,000 in 2021 will get a $300 tax rebate this year, with dependents eligible for the rebate as well. Individuals who earn more than $100,000 and couples who earn more than $200,000 will receive $100. According to the State Department of Taxation, payments could begin being mailed out in late August. Senate Democrats also look to move forward towards a new reconciliation package, as Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has sublimated language to the Senate parliamentarian for a proposal to allow Medicare to influence prescription prices. The last time Democrats tried to move forward with a large reconciliation bill, it was brought down by Senator Joe Manchin, who felt it was too costly at a time when the United States was already dealing with significant inflation. But this time around, Senator Manchin is at least on board with the Medicare prescription idea. A summary of the proposed bill says it affects prescription prices by incentivizing manufacturers and insurers to keep the drug prices down and puts them on hook for higher prescription prices and spending. The Senate leader and Senator Manchin are still discussing other parts of the package, like climate change and tax reform. Last year, Senator Manchin stated that he did everything humanly possible to negotiate a compromise with party leaders to come up with a plan that he would be comfortable supporting. Friends, the key word for this video is Kenya. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Kenya and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Remember, dear friends, that the more videos that you comment on with the keyword, the greater your chance of winning. Senator Joe Manchin had previously proposed a $1.7 trillion price tag for the spending package, but he said his Democratic colleagues did not make the necessary compromises. He did note that both he and President Biden tried very hard to make it work. So friends, do you think that President Biden's economic agenda will ever pass? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, my fabulous and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I truly and greatly appreciate every single one of you who are watching my videos daily. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Sunday.